today we're looking at a new amp from Steve Carr. Car amps are incredible, and this one's no exception. This one's called the Mercury V, and the reason it's called a V is because it uses two 6V6s, which I think is a, a super flexible amplifier. I need one here at the studio because it does everything that a 6V6 amp does, but it also is very British voiced. I mean, he, may, he basically used the 6V tubes to have a lower volume amp, but this thing is like got kind of, you know, marshally this all over it, right? So the thing is, is with, with this amp, you've got uh, two volumes on the front end, right? So imagine a Marshall where you, you kind of jack over to those two volumes. One has more bass, one more has, has more treble. So that's kind of the mode I have it in right now. So it's kind of a four input Marshall. I've got the bass, uh, the bassier channel up a little louder. Now, what you can also do with that section is you can series those things and it's more like it does kind of a stat thing like a dumble sort of thing would do where you're pushing one gain channel into another gain channel then it has the uh the boost mode there's a three-way switch it's sort of 60s marshall 70s marshall and then more like 90s sort of i guess you know jubilee series sort of thing then it's got reverb built in it's got treble it's got mid it's got bass and it's got his cool uh patented sort of um, attenuator thing so you can be at the full wattage of the amp which i think is about 16 watts with two six v's or down to from four watts to zero watts so that is pretty freaking cool so i'm going to walk you through some of the sounds with it with the telly right now uh, with my whitfield guitar and show you a little bit about what's going on so anyway here is the the boost mode one and imagine just the the two channels jumped on a marshall right now I'm going to show you two. Watch. Get it? More of a 70s Marshall. And then we got the most gainy gain, which is here. That's just with turning those things. You haven't done anything yet, right? So now I'm gonna I'm gonna series with that gain setting on. I'm gonna series the two inputs, which is gonna make it more of a fire-breathing monster. <laughs> So, so what, what we're looking at here, it, guys, is insane amounts of flexibility. So I want to show you that same gained up sound uh, with the attenuator down to about one watt. So if you're recording at home or you're just having fun playing at home, let me show you what this does. Okay, here's that same sound with one watt. Watch. <laughs> And we can vary that up. So we get a tiny gig and use three watts. Unbelievable. And then here's like about four watts. So I don't know what Steve did, but the cool thing about it is it's, you notice it still has bottom end, right? You know, we're four watts with bottom end. Uh, he's a genius. Who that's could want awesome. more? Who could want more? So then we go back to... So here's like a straight up sort of 60s vibe, uh, you know, Marshall sort of tone with four watts. <laughs> So you imagine those two things are stacked. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the low volume up and the high volume up, but we're still in the lower gain mode, right? So
right? You can't go wrong with this. No, no, no. It sounds like an old 60s Marshall cranked up, but it's got 112 and 26 Vs. So you're getting all that tone in this little bitty box, right? With a volume that there's no sound man on the planet who could whine about this, right? None. So then I'm going to stack this and we're going to go super, super crazy. Now here's 70s with everything series, the volume series and cranked up with about four watts. <laughs> Let's say I'm a super high gain guy, right? That's easy, you just do this. Watch this. back to a cleaner tone we're just tweaking a couple things we're gonna go to a 70s sound back to 16 watts and you got this <laughs> that's that's some double type sound right there well right and now let me uh let me put on the the gibson style guitar and we'll show you what it does with that so now we're, uh, we got the uh, Les Paul style guitar in the 60s mode. So again, uh, it's kind of like the volumes are set now where it's kind of like four input Marshall and you just jump a channel. So there's a bassier channel, a trebleier channel. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just take the controls just as they are. Now we're going to go to the 70s mode. Now, we'll go to the more modern Marshall mode. Right? That's cool. And now, if we were to do this sort of like, you know, gain stagey dumbly thing, you just flip the switch, and you got this. Watch. take that back down to like the 70s mode so it'll be a little less game <laughs> now the 60s mode right so we go <laughs> definitive changes in tone right Absolutely. now let's do the go to four watts sound man screaming and yelling and you go ha ha <laughs> ha ha watch <laughs> I mean, I promise you, the microphone's going to like that, right? Love it. All I would probably do is raise the bassier of the two channels up a little bit more to get a little bit more bottom mark. <laughs> Let's go to the super high gain one time, all right? Just to show everybody how much fun that is. All right, it'd be the gainiest of gain. It even has a line out, so you could run that line out into a a power amp or go direct if you felt like it. That's incredible. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is Steve's thought of everything on this freaking amp. Tons of sounds in here. We barely scratch the surface. I mean, it's, it goes on and on and on. I mean, I think we could go knee deep and do a two hour video on all the different sounds you get out of this amp. And they're all right there. I mean, for recording, I think this is the bomb. And yeah, I'm sure it takes pedals like all his stuff does too. So if you wanted to get a lower gain sound and just push it, you could do that from, from the front as well. So anyway, once again, 
car amplification, car amplification, Curtis, Lance, Austin, see ya! Thank <laughs> you.